you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures to you. Okay. I will pick you once it's 4 p.m. Yeah, I will come with my children because I don't know how long we're going to stay there. All right. Okay. Bye for now. Bye. An instant blindness. And my Bible tells me that How you shall come you in one way and say in seven ways. In, in the name of Jesus, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Lose your host right now in the name of Jesus. How dare you? How dare you? Jesus. Jesus. Who advised you Jesus. to try my power? Jesus. How dare you to make my children? How dare you cross my boundary? And I have conquered you by the blood of the 
lamb and by the word of our testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bind you. Lose your horse right now in the name of Jesus. Lose your horse right now in the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost fire. I lose you in the name of Jesus. Good morning, students. I didn't hear you very well. Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Attention, please. Announcements. Now, the first announcement is concerning the ugly incident that happened here on Assembly Ground last week. A situation whereby a student collected something from a fellow student, and that was biscuit, and the result of it was collapsing and dying. To this effect, henceforth, it is highly prohibited for any student to collect anything from any student, including teachers and even the principal, myself. On no account must you collect anything from anybody. Should that thing happen again, it will run to automatic dismissal. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Having said that, from next week, there's going to be a school fees drive. From next week onwards, right from the gate, if you are coming to school, without payment of school fees, you are not allowed to enter into the school premises. Having said that, the issue of bullying, the report has gotten to us as well. Henceforth, if we get a report of any student bullying another student, that will warrant automatic dismissal or indefinite suspension. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Okay. If it's not together, if it's not together, so, you must be prayerful. You must talk to your God to take control. If you relax yourself, you must be prayerful. You must be prayerful. You must talk to your God to take control. If you're not to God, if it's not to God, so, so, you must be prayerful day and night. You must talk to your God to take control. Prayer is the key. I want them all. They may come like storms, but with prayers, you go back home. Don't relent at all. Don't close your mouth. Always intercede. Always be prayerful. If it's not to God, You must be prayerful day and night. You must talk to your God to take control. untrue for this family because worse would have happened and um, the bible says in the book of psalm that we should call on him in the days of trouble and he will answer 
and thank God he has answered this family and liberated this family from every evil and manipulations. Yeah, so it's an opportunity for us to know that it's not always good for parents to, to have kids and you love some and you leave some behind. We have to love them equally. Yes. So thank God for what he has done. And we just have to give him all the praises. He is a faithful God. Uh. Philo, I am... I'm short of words. But I must thank God for bringing you into this family, into my family, because without you, it would have been disastrous. Thank God for the solution to our problems. Thank God for delivering us. Thank God for delivering my daughter, Bevina. And I want to believe that we have learned our lessons and we would make it a point of duty to reach out to other families to ensure that they take responsibility for the safety of their children. On behalf of myself and my family, we want to apologize for everything, for our ignorance, for our negligence, for our stupidity. It cost us a lot. And um, we have learned our lessons. My daughter is such an amazing person. It was quite unfortunate that we didn't realize he was possessed all that while. And we were manipulated by evil spirits. But thank God for the grace of God. Thank God for deliverance. And thank God for you, Philomena. We appreciate you. And um, I want to believe all is well now. I think my wife has something to say. I feel so... I feel so ashamed of myself that something like this has been going on in my home and And I never knew. I, I just feel like I'm not fit to be called a mother. I feel so terrible. Not being able to heed to the needs of my children. Their cry. Their complaints. All the same, I just want to say thank you and thank God for his life upon my family, upon our lives. Thank God for his deliverance. And thank you so much for playing my role. Thank you. Thank 
I have never for one day discriminated. Maybe yes, due to the manipulation or anything, but what you put, same measure. You're my children and I can't beat you for nine months. I, I can't. I can't rush on my love. I can't. I give all of you equal love. I love you so much. I'm so ashamed of myself. I don't know. I love you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Adam. Adam, how are you? Adam. Come here. Totally short of words. I don't know where to start from. Um, you've been an amazing person to my family and I. You've been a great person to my kids, most especially. God has used you to deliver my entire family. And I don't know how to say thank you. You're a great person. You're a very good help. You've been there for my kids. You've taken good care of them in my absence. Thank you so much, Philo. We're grateful. May God bless you. May God protect you. And may God provide for you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Say thank you to your aunt. Go, go ahead. Do what I go. Oh, I miss you. I miss you, girl. I miss you. Don't worry, I'll be coming once in a while to visit you. That's if you will miss you. I'll miss you too. I'll be coming. Take it, take it, baby, now. Why don't you just wait? Don't worry, I have to go and do something. I'll be coming to visit you, yeah? You know I love you. I love you too, Uncle. I'm Philo. You see, I was telling my wife that I practically need to show appreciation for, you know, your kindness. And I've been thinking what to do. I know all the money in the world wouldn't, you know, measure up for what you're worth, but I want to do something very special. I know it's weird. I know it's crazy, but it's, uh, it's just uh, a sign of love, a sign of appreciation. You see that van over there? I know it's a school van and it's for my kids. I can always get another one for them, so I want you to have it. Here's the key. Yeah, the school van. Just listen, it's something, you know, to help you remember your friends, us. You know, the entire family. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. You know, Congratulations. Yes. Oh my God, thank Congrats. you so much, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I know, I know it's crazy. The I know. car. Oh my God. Just have it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay, it's all right, it's okay. It's okay, take it, take it. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Don't be stop mommy and daddy. All right, I have to go. All right, take care of yourself. All right. Big mom will open the gate for you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right. The gate will open the gate for you. All right. Bye. Say bye, kids. Say bye. Great is the armor which you carry. Destroy Satan and his agents. Oso bona fa si ya imeli fa. Prayer is the key. I want the more. They may come like storms, but with prayers you go back home. Don't relent at all. Don't close your mouth. Always intercede. Always be prayerful. Why are you crying? You must overcome them. Okay. If not to God, I will say, We love no more. If not to God, we are all so many. So, you must be prayerful. Day and night, you must talk to your God. To take control. If you relax yourself, I will say, We love no more. You must be prayerful. So, so, you must be prayerful Day and night You must talk to your God To take control If you're not a God I can say we love no more If you're not a God I can say we love no more If you're not a God I can say we love no more If you're not a God Scaring things are happening in this world. If I never know what you run, if I never know, no one is safe anymore. Under your nose, the evil dwelling. She's on a mission to destroy this family. She's a devil, she's a demon. You don't know her at all. In a boy, she is dangerous. Oh, Kari Kwalogi, 